Good morning, Long Beach, Chicago, Richmond, Texas, Wales, UK. I'll be with you in September, Wales. Looking forward to that. Good morning, good morning, good morning. La Place, Louisiana. Good to see you. Can't start the call till you get on. Praise God. Georgia, Tulsa, Miami. Come see me at the Awakening House of Prayer. Miami is a short drive north. Brisbane, Australia, Burlington, Kentucky. Come on. Indiana, good morning. Hello, Philadelphia. Hi, Cecil, Odessa. Good to see you on the broadcast. Come on, Canada, Cincinnati, Honolulu. <laughs> Aloha. Hello, Canada, Canada representing strong this morning. London, Maryland, good morning. Alabama, one of my favorite states. Katanavashta, Kata. We're going to start our devotion in just about one minute. Share this with your friends, invite your followers, post it on Facebook, get the word out. It's going to be good. Manitoba. Hello, Barbados. You need an Awakening Blaze prayer spoke in Barbados. Visit AwakeningBlaze.com. We're going to launch a new slew of Awakening Blaze prayer cells in August. We're interviewing now Malaysia, 6 p.m. in Malaysia. I'll be in Singapore next month. Northern Ireland. I'll be in uh, Northern Ireland in September. Hit the share button. We're going to start in 30 seconds. Andrea, I don't know if there's one in the UK yet. Praise God. All right, guys, you know me, Jennifer LeClaire here, the author of our devotional Mornings with the Holy Spirit, listening daily to the still, small voice of God. I'm convinced God is speaking much more than we're hearing him on most days. We're pressing in today's devotion titled, Refuse to Accept Pressure from the World. Here's what I heard the Lord say. The pressure you often feel in your daily walk is not coming from us. The world will pressure you. The world will guilt you, says God. The world will stretch you to the breaking point. The world will violate your boundaries. The world will use you and abuse you if you let it, says the Lord. But Jesus' yoke is easy and his burden is light. I will lead you to prefer others. I will lead you to deny self. I will lead you to love. I will lead you to pick up your cross and follow Christ, says God. But I will not pressure you or condemn you or guilt you or shame you as the world does. Seek to please Father and don't receive pressure from man or devils. Follow me, says the Spirit of God. Praise God, that's a good word. I don't care where you're from. Today's scripture references 1 John 5 and 19, 1 Corinthians 2, verse 12, and 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, verses 1 and 2. And our prayer starter for today, I refuse the pressure, the guilt, and the stress the world brings. I will not bow to the spirit of this world, which offers nothing good. I will bow down to the spirit of God. Help me resist the devil and follow you in all my ways. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. You are so awesome, God. You are so wonderful. You are, <laughs> you are so much more wonderful than we even have words to express. Yet we glorify you with our mouths. We cry out to you this 
morning, God, with adoration, with worship. We worship you this morning, God, in spirit and in truth. We thank you, Lord. We love you, God. There is no other God like you, no one. Nothing compares to you. Oh, Jesus, we cry out to you this morning, God. Oh, for your presence, for an encounter with your heart, God. Oh, Jesus, would you just fill us to overflowing with your spirit on today, God. Would you just fill us afresh, fill us anew, God. We need more of you, Jesus. We're hungry for your presence, God, because there's nothing like sitting at your feet. There's nothing like leaning our head upon your chest like John the Beloved. There's nothing like hearing that still, small voice to speak to our hearts, to let us know everything's going to be okay. I thank you, Lord, that you've gone before us to make a way for us. And even though it seems like things are shaky, I just see some of you out there. It's just like you're being shaken. It's like you're just being shaken, like you're being sifted, like the enemy has come to sift you. But the Lord says, don't worry because I've strengthened you and you'll make it through just like you, just like Peter made it through. The enemy came to sift him and Peter stumbled for a moment, but he ran back to me. The Lord would say to you today, the enemy is shaking you. The enemy is sifting you. The enemy's trying to move you off the place I've put you on, the position I've put you in, says God, but stand firm, stand strong, knowing that whatever can be shaken will be shaken, but you shall not be moved. Oh, I won't let you go. I've got you in my hand, says the Lord, and I'm able to make you stand in the evil day. I'm able to make you stand in the midst of the battle. I'm able to make you stand when all the hell is breaking loose against you. I am able to make you stand. So don't bow down to the ways of the world and don't bow down to the imaginations of your mind, but continue to bow down to me, says God. Bow a knee to me. Bow a knee to me. Bow a knee to me. Don't bow to the spirit of fear. Don't bow to that spirit of discouragement, says God. Don't bow. Don't do it. Don't do it. I know it's tempting, says God. I know it's tempting just to give up, just to quit, just to run in the other direction, says God. But don't do it. Run to me. Run to the throne. Run to the throne. Run to the throne. Run to the throne. Run to the throne, says God. Run to me. Come boldly to my throne. My throne, says God is a throne of grace. It's a throne of mercy. It's a throne uh, where you can come in any moment knowing that I will receive you because you are in Christ. Your faith in my son gives you permission. It authorizes you to come boldly to me and ask what you need from me and request mercy and receive grace. I am here for you, says God. So even though it seems like everything around you is shaking and everything on the inside of you is shaking, it seems like it's shaking, shaking, shaking shaking, shaking. Just rest assured, says God, that nothing can shake you free from my hand. Nothing can shake you loose from my love because I am with you and I will never leave you and I will never forsake you, says God, even to the end of the age. I am with you and I am for you, says God. And if I am for you, then who can be against you? For it's not going to be too much longer and you're going to shake loose of some things that have tried to shake you to pieces. You're going to shake loose of those things because the enemy has come to oppress you, says God, but I've come to set you free. So don't mind the shaking. Don't let it dismay you. Don't let it bring discouragement to your heart, but just realize that I am in it. I am working in it. I'm not shaking you up, but I'm shaking you free, says God. And you're going to walk into this next season, into this new season with a new freedom, with a new liberty, with a new a new perspective. Oh, that's what it is. I thank you, Lord, for given us a new perspective, even in the shaking God, even when the quake, uh, it seems like there's a, yeah, I just, I just sense right now, even by the spirit of God, some of you, it's almost like a, uh, it's not just a little shaking. It's like a, uh, it's like a 9.0 Richter scale earthquake in your life. And it seems like things are falling off the shelves and things are cracking and things are breaking and things are shaking. And it's a violent shaking. But it's time for you to turn the tables because the kingdom of God suffers violence and the violent take it by force. For some of you have been suffering violence, the enemy's violence, the enemy's violence, his violent assaults come on against your mind. Somebody listen to me. The violent assaults against your mind, but you've got to press back with a violent determination knowing that God is on your side. Oh, he's given you his armor. He's given you his name. He's given you his blood. Oh, Jesus, we thank you that the weapons of our warfare. They're not carnal, but they're mighty.
Almighty and God to the pulling down of strongholds. We worship you, Jesus. You are the Lord. You are a warrior. The Lord is your name. I thank you, Lord, that you're fighting for us. You're fighting through us. You're fighting with us. We thank you, Lord. That violent earthquake, we say, peace be still in the name of the Lord. Jesus spoke to the storm and said, peace be still. We speak to this earthquake and we say, peace be still. Stop your rumbling. Oh, Jesus, we worship you, God. We worship you in the shaking. We worship you in the quaking. We worship you in the midst of violent assaults against our minds, against our bodies, against our families. We worship you, Jesus. There is no other God like you. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy even in the midst of warfare. Oh, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. We're going to praise our way through. We're going to worship our way through Jesus because there is no other God like you. We're not going to accuse you. I just sense right now the, the enemy is trying to call some of you to accuse God. He's trying to call some of you to turn on the Lord just like Job's wife. Job's wife. Job's wife. Job's wife told him curse God and die. He was in the middle of the worst trial. One of the worst trials I've ever seen in the history of mankind. Oh it was coming at him from every side. We think we've got it bad but oh Job. Oh poor Job. He had it so bad and his wife said curse God and die and he refused. Lord we are not going to blame you. We're not going to curse you. We're not going to pull away from you. We're not going to get offended with you. I don't want to be offended when it all comes down. I don't want to be offended. Oh, Jesus, let us not be offended with you. Oh, Jesus. Oh, my, 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 my. There it is. Oh, some of you are offended with God. Dear God. Some of you are offended with God and you don't even know it. Because things didn't go like you thought they should go. And the Bible says that hope deferred, it makes the heart sick. Some of you are offended with God and you don't even know it. You don't know it. You don't know it. That's why you're so downcast. Oh, my soul, why are you so downcast? Hope in God. Well, you're not hoping in God because hope deferred has made the heart sick. Oh, you don't see it. Oh, but the, the one offended is harder to win over than a, than a walled city. But God, this morning, we take the walls down, the walls we've erected around our lives, the walls we've erected around our hearts, those walls that they don't even let you in. We've walled you out, God. Some of you, oh my goodness, my goodness. Some of you, you've walled God out. You'll let him in a certain part of your heart. Listen to me now. You will let him in a certain part of your heart. But these other parts, you won't let him in. Because you've been hurt there. You've been wounded there. You've been struck down there. And there's certain parts of your heart. The Lord, he's knocking on the door. He's knocking on the door of your heart. He's knocking. Knock, knock, knock. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking. He's knocking on the door of your heart. And you don't want to let him in. Because you've been hurt there. You've built a wall. Jesus. Jesus, we invite you into every part of our heart, God. We tear down the walls. We tear them down brick by brick, piece by piece. We're not going to wall you out, God. We're not going to wall out people that you've called to minister to us, that you've called to walk with us. We're not going to wall them out and wall the pain in. That's why some of you aren't getting free from the pain because you've built a wall and the pain can't come out and the Lord can't come in. Lord, tear down the walls today. Tear down the walls today. Some of you were injured in warfare. Some of you have sustained friendly fire. Friendly fire. What do I mean by that? People that were supposed to be on your side. They didn't mean to hurt you, but they did. Friendly fire. And you built a wall there. You built a, a fortress. And the enemy has erected a stronghold behind that wall. And you suffer in silence. You suffer in pain. You suffer not even knowing what's wrong. And some of you are offended with God. Some of you are offended with people. And it's not conscious. You don't even know it. You don't even recognize it. My God, my God, my God, come today, God. Break down the walls, God. In Jesus' name, would you break them down? 
brick by brick, piece by piece, Lord, whatever it takes. Let your love, let your love, God, penetrate the walls. We give you permission. We give you permission, God, to search our hearts completely and where you find the walls. God, let your love penetrate the walls. Encounter us with your love, overwhelming love unstoppable love full of grace full of hope full of peace God infuse us with new life Zoe life God infuse us again I'm gonna pray in the spirit if you know how to pray in the spirit pray in the spirit and let the Holy Spirit come on now let the Holy Spirit invade your heart every chamber he's knocking on the door Kamasho shoko to bashte, brishti kite mashte, kolioko tom bashta, mashti pikite, moshura bokatara shikite, shura mashta katara bashte. Deliver us from offense, God. Deliver us from every hurt, God. Deliver us from all the pain, God. Deliver us, Lord. Shikite rebeshta kata, rolo koto mashte, bamba shi. Jesus. Lord, do what only you can do, God. Do what only you can do, God. We give you permission. We give you permission. We give you permission, God. We're not going to stay in this place anymore, this stuck place. This place of being stuck. Unstick us, God. Help us to move forward, God. We don't want to tread water in the spirit anymore, God. We don't want to tread water, God. We want to do a butterfly. We want to do a, a long stroke. We want to advance in the name of the Lord. We don't want to tread water, God. We don't want to just feel like we're drowning, God, flailing. Oh, Jesus, we want to do the backstroke. We want to, we want to do, we want to, we want to do something uh, to advance the kingdom, God. We don't want to tread water. We don't want to feel like we're drowning. We don't want to be, feel like we're, we're just being overtaken by the flood of the enemy. Tossed to and fro with every wind of doctrine. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Help us, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Create in us a clean heart, God. And renew a right spirit within us, God. Because you are good. <laughs> we come boldly to your throne of grace this morning, God. We ask you to forgive us, God, of every sin. Every sin of commission. Every sin of omission, God. Purge us. Cleanse us. You wash us with the water of your word, God. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Tear down the walls, God. Tear down the walls, God. Tear down the walls, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You're faithful. You're faithful. You're faithful. You're faithful. You're so faithful, God, even when others aren't faithful. You're always faithful, even when we're not faithful, God. You're faithful. You never break covenant with us, God. You never will. You never have. You never will. You never have. You never will. Thank you, Jesus, that you're a covenant-keeping God. <laughs> you're always just as close as our next cry for help. You're with us. You're with us. You'll never leave us. You'll never forsake us. You're faithful. Draw us close to you, God. We draw close to you this morning. Your word tells us if we draw nigh to you, you'll draw nigh to us. So we draw nigh to you this morning, God. And all the obstacles, all the hindrances, all the walls, they can't keep us from your presence because we're determined to press past every pain, press past everything that hinders love. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good. 
God is good on a Monday morning. God is good on a Tuesday, a Wednesday, a Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He's good all the time, every day, all day, every moment of the day. We thank you for your peace that's resting upon us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Praise God. God is good. I read something. Listen to me. In Joshua this morning, I want to share that with you in just a moment. But I want to do my announcement, so bear with me. Awakening Blazers, praise God. I did my little beach baptism video yesterday. I'm so sorry. I, I totally don't know what I was thinking when I scheduled that at 5. Praise God. The Awakening Blaze leaders in the Awakening Blaze uh, group, praise God. But uh, at least you got Pastor Austin to pray for you. Everybody wants Pastor Austin to pray for them, so... So praise God if you if you were there at least you you got prayer from me and you got a hello from baby prophet praise God in case y'all did not hear uh, baby prophet is having a baby prophet baby prophet is having her first child with pastor Austin we blame him for this but we're celebrating there she is how she's got a birthday month praise God and a, and a baby announcement in the same month congratulations baby prophet because uh, you can have a baby prophet going to be a boy named Jude. Praise God. Hallelujah. Everybody congratulate baby prophet. Hallelujah. Praise God. What a great birthday present, huh? Hallelujah. Yay. Praise Jesus. Yay. Hallelujah. I, I'm hoping she'll have a five at once. Just kick out a litter and have it done with. Praise God. I've always wanted to have quintuplets in my church. Praise Jesus. Yeah, it's going to be good. Praise God. I said, as long as you name the baby something that starts with a J, we're good. Yep, an A-hop baby. Praise God. Hallelujah. No, 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 no. <laughs> Praise God. God is good. Congratulations, baby prophet. You awakening blaze leaders, I'm going to do a video today at, at 5 or 6. I've got to also issue another video. So go in there. If you're, if you're, if you're a leader and you have not returned your, your commitment form, please do that today. Please, 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 please. Por favor, take a picture of it with your phone and just send the picture of it on your phone if you have to. I know some of you don't have scanners, praise God. Hey, Jude. Haha, <laughs> shake it. Don't make me sing. Yes, Jude's a good name because it starts with a J. Praise God. Send back your forms. If you're interested in being part of the Awakening Blaze prayer movement, uh, we launched 62 spokes in July. We want to launch another batch in August. We're interviewing. want to get to know you. want you to get to know us. Uh, please go to awakeningblaze.com. Maybe you don't want to be a leader, but you want to be an intercessor. We've got a list going where we're connecting intercessors with the leaders. So you just go ahead and send in your interest form. Also, there's an Awakening Blaze interest call on this I believe it's on Wednesday July the 19th we've got about listen leaders we've got about 500 people who have registered to be part of this interest call they want to know what we're doing some of them will emerge as leaders some of them will uh, emerge as intercessors that we can connect you with praise God uh, so uh, just go away awakeningblaze.com if you want to register for the interest call on Wednesday night, you're going to want to go to uh, uh, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com, jenniferleclair.eventbrite.com. Uh, it if you've sent it twice, you haven't heard back, you're probably landing in spam. Spam, go to, go send that, go fill out another one. The form on the Awakening Blaze site was broken for about 10 days and we did not know it. Uh, and so just please go do it again and, uh, and, and, and pray that the devil stops messing with our technology. Praise God. Hallelujah. A malfunction. Not like a wardrobe malfunction, like a technology malfunction. Praise God. Listen, if you want to sow a seed into the prayer movement, into my ministry, into the media aspects, we're trying to bunker down, hunker down and get a, a bunch more equipment, reach the nations. You know, it, it costs actual physical money to, to practically launch a prayer movement. Not sure if most people are aware of that, but there's all sorts of websites, technology, payment systems uh, that we have to set up with vendors. All sorts of things going on but if these calls are blessing you you're growing on these calls you're getting freedom on these calls you're being blessed by these calls I want to encourage you to help us to expand the influence and the reach of what we're doing and sow a seed into the ministry we can expand our influence and our reach uh, the more that we can invest in uh, technologies to get the word out praise God so you can go to uh, jenniferleclair.org slash donate you can become a partner there really 
really, really need your partnership. Uh, if the Lord is speaking to you, don't delay. Dis uh, delayed obedience is the same as disobedience. Uh-oh, did I just say that? I did. It's the truth. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate. Sow a seed. If this is blessing you, sow a seed. Don't sit back there and, and be a, a greedy consumer when the Lord is prompting you to give. It's not good. It's not good. I've done it. I've done it. It didn't work out too well for me. I ended up getting convicted and having to set it straight. We don't want to resist the Lord in any area, but especially in the area of, of, of it, well, in any area, but in the area of giving, if he's challenging you to give, the reason why he's doing that is because he wants to get something to you. It's not like he's trying to get anything from you. And that's what we don't understand. Sometimes we don't, we don't want to give because we don't want to let loose of what's in our hand. But you know, if you want to get more put in your hand, you've got to open your hand, not close your hand. So as long as you keep your hand closed, when the Lord's telling you to open it, you know, you might release a seed, but he's trying to put way more in your hand than what you've released. JenniferLeClaire.org slash donate, or you can go to PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, PayPal.me slash Jennifer LeClaire, PayPal.me. If you're international, I know that works for you, especially the mailing address. You ask for the mailing address. Uh, that is uh, P.O. Box 3953. Hallandale Beach, Florida, H-A-L-L-A-N-D-A-L-E Beach, Florida, 33008. P.O. Box 3953, Hallandale Beach, Florida, 33008. You can find that address on my website at jenniferleclair.org. Or uh, you can, uh, if you sent your Awakening Blaze form on Thursday, uh, we probably just haven't gotten a response yet. Uh, if you don't get one soon, fill it out again. Uh, you can also do text to give, 754-701-2161, 754-701-2161, and you can text the word PRAY, P-R-A-Y, and there you go. If you want to be part of my network, the Ignite Network, it's a network for prophetic people uh, you can join uh, that or you can read more about it at ignitenow.org if we've got any igniters on the broadcast shout out and let people know uh, that you are enjoying it and it's blessing you praise God ignitenow.org uh, we are praying together we're standing together people are learning to prophesy there are a lot of training videos in there uh, different uh, long webinars different short videos uh, I, I need to post more I think more articles in there, which is something I'm going to work on. Uh, we had a, a guy that was helping with that, uh, and he's no longer working on our team. Uh, so that set me back. I've got to find uh, I've got to find someone else who can work on our team uh, that can help me with that. Uh, praise God. Maybe Baby Prophet Judah uh, can do that. Praise God. We just got to wait nine months. Well, possible. Uh, the phone to donate seven. You're asking for the phone number. Seven, it text the word pray p r a y seven five four seven zero one two one six one one. Praise God. The writers workshops are again this Saturday and we're launching our own Awakening Blaze prayer spoke at the Awakening House of Prayer on Saturday. So if any of you are in the South Florida area, come visit us uh, at six o'clock on Saturday. Pray with us uh, or come visit us on Sunday. Uh, the online campus, hopefully that'll be done this week. The person that was working on that also, we're not working with them uh, any longer. We've cut ties there. Uh, so uh, we are looking to shift that in a direction where we can actually get it done and instead of just being told it's being done. Praise God. So we will uh, hopefully have information on the online campus this week. The website for prophetic training, you're asking about that now. That's nextlevelprophetic.com, nextlevelprophetic.com. The School of Spiritual Warfare is launching in September. Um, the payment systems on that are not done yet, but that should be done hopefully this week as well. Uh, you can uh, go, though, to, if you just want to register flat out, you can go to Jennifer LeClaire eventbrite.com you'll find all of my events there all of my schools there on that page jenniferleclair.eventbrite e v e n t b r i t e Dot com. Naomi Rain is going to be here with me on my birthday, July 28th, 29th, and 30th. We're doing the uh, Activating Your Angels on Assignment Conference. Praise God to coincide with my new book. Angels on Assignment again, and that book is supposed to be in my hands any day now, so please stop sending emails cussing us out because the book hasn't been uh, delivered to us yet. Please stop doing that. We're blocking you if you do that, and we're praying for your deliverance if you do that. Praise God. The Awakening Blaze called uh, today at 6 
at whatever time I said I was going to do it, it is in the Awakening Blaze group. Anybody can listen. The interest call on Wednesday night is for anybody that's interested in joining that has not joined. Praise God. Okay. There's a lot of other things I'm doing. Don't have time to tell you all of them. Uh, but today is Monday and I'm getting out of the gates fast. Let me uh, tell you what I read in Joshua this morning. I'm glad you pre-ordered your book. Yeah, it should be in our hands any day. We're praying over the Angels book. Uh, you can go to angelsprophecy.com and order that. We've got a, a T-shirt. We've got the, a, a kit of, of resources for angels. It includes my new CDs, Prayers That Activate Angels, as well. Uh, and they're telling me I'm going to have this in my hand this week. I'm signing them, and we are praying over them because we're believing the Lord will open your eyes to angels, and, and, and the, some of you will have angelic encounters. Uh, it's probably, I don't know if it'll be an ebook or not. The publisher doesn't seem to be doing that, so I don't know about that. Uh, but uh, you can go to angelsprophecy.com and do that. Um, signing them, we're praying over them, and, and we'll get it to you just as soon as we get it. It's not like we're just like, we have it and we're like, oh, we're not going to send it out, bless God. It's just the printer has had a delay because Jim Baker ordered uh, 10,000 of them, and that just jammed up all the works. So this book is uh, number one on Amazon in its category, uh, but Amazon doesn't have it either. Uh, it's just back ordered. but I'm supposed to be getting 1,000 copies this week. Praise God, okay? So pray with me. Thank you for blessing me and not cursing me. Uh, you know, patience is a fruit of the spirit. Hallelujah. And we're just as discouraged about it not getting here on time as you as some of you are. Praise God. It's worth the wait. All right. Let me read you what I read in Joshua this morning. Praise God. It's my birthday month. You should not be cursing me on my birthday month. You should be blessing me. It's my birthday month. I'm going to be 21. I'm going to be 21 years old. I'm yeah, I'm going to be 21. Praise God. It's my birthday month. You're supposed to be nice to me. Hallelujah. Not be cursing me. All right. Here's what I read in Joshua. Listen to this now. I'm going to be the same age as baby prophet. Ha ha she can She can be 22. Baby prophet's going to be older than me. Praise God. Hallelujah. Or here's what I read in Joshua. Hallelujah. Karabashto shokoto. Where was it? Shoramashte kete. This is when uh, Joshua... Uh, he he had to go to war because the Gibeonites deceived them and uh, all the kings, five kings attacked the Gibeonites. And because Joshua had made covenant with the Gibeonites, uh, he had to go to war for them and defend them. That's a good word right there. Who you're aligned with, you're going to have to go to war with them. So don't make an alignment with somebody that you're not willing to war with or who's bringing unnecessary warfare on themselves because it will affect you. Now, here, let me just teach you for a minute. Joshua, the Lord said to Joshua in Joshua 10, uh, verse 7. So Joshua went up to Gilgal. He and all the people of war with him and the mighty men of valor. And listen, the Lord said to Joshua, do not be afraid of them, for I have given them into your hand and not a single man can stand before you. Now, here's the thing. First thing I want to teach you just right quick. Listen, when the Lord calls you into a battle. You have to understand that you already have the victory. The Lord never calls you into a, a battle without equipping you to win it. Now, if you've got sin in your heart, you might lose that battle. In other words, you might take a hit. You might take a knock. If you, if you, if you, if Lord calls you in the battle and then he gives you specific instructions, you don't follow those instructions. Then yeah, you might get, you might take a hit, Right. But if you do what the Lord says, if you have obedience toward him, he says, no single man can stand before you. And then and then here I like this. Uh, it says then in verse nine, then Joshua came upon them suddenly. Praise God. Some of you are going to pull a sudden attack against your enemy. Some of you have been dealing with a certain devil, a certain demon for a long, long time. You've been putting up with it. You've been tolerating it. But you're suddenly going to have a change of heart, a change of mind. And you're going to bind that thing. You're going to come against that thing. You're going to run to the battle line with your smooth stone and knock that thing between the eyes, and it's going to fall. Then Joshua came upon them suddenly, having marched all that night from Gilgal. The Lord, listen, the Lord, the Lord panicked them before Israel. The Lord did it. They struck them with overwhelming force at Gibeon. Then Israel pursued them on the, on the road that rises to Beth Horon and struck them down as far as Ezekah and Mekeda. As they fled from Israel, listen, as they fled from Israel on the downslope from Beth Horon, the Lord, 
The Lord hurled large hailstones down upon them from the sky as far as Ezekiel. Catch that. The Lord panics them. The Lord hurled large hailstones down upon them from the sky as far as Ezekiel. They died, and in fact, more died from the hailstones than the children of Israel killed with the sword. Praise God. On the day the Lord gave over the Amorites, the children of Israel, Joshua stood and he asked the Lord to make the sun stand still. And the sun stood still in the middle of the sky and did not set for a full day praise God then verse 15 then Joshua uh, no his here it says right here verse 14 and the Lord waged war for Israel I'm telling you by the Spirit of God, some of you are fighting battles in your own strength. The Lord called you to fight the battle, but the reason you're not winning is because you've slipped over into the carnal realm instead of into the spiritual realm. Some of you are you're doing the best you can. There's no condemnation, but you've slipped into fighting the devil in your own strength. But the Lord would say to you today that the battle is mine. So stand back and watch me because I'm about to come against your enemies with a fierce, fierce, fierce fierce, fierce, raging fire. And remember when I call you into battle, says God, that no man can stand before you, but you've got to stand before me, says God, and you've got to get my battle plan, says God. You've got to listen for my instructions every step of the way, says the Lord, because the enemy will come and try to ambush you, but I've set ambushes around and about for your enemies, and I will fight for you, and I will fight through you, says God, but you've got to let me. You've got to let me. You've got to let me. Stop picking up in your own strength the strategies I've not given you, things that worked last time, things that worked yesterday. Stop doing that and begin to listen to me because I will always lead you into triumph in Christ, says God. And we thank you, Lord, this morning. We repent if we've gotten ahead of you. We repent if we've aligned with someone that's bringing warfare on us. We repent if we've used a strategy that you've not given us or a weapon you've not told us to pick up. We repent if we've done things in our own strength instead of being strong in you and the power of your might, God. And we ask you, Lord, to help us, Lord, because the battle really does belong to you. The battle really is yours. We are your battle axe. The battle really is yours. We've got to fight sometimes, but sometimes we don't even have to fight. We've just got to show up being willing and ready. So God, in this season, would you teach us, God, because we want to put our feet on the enemy's neck, just like Joshua's men did with the five kings after they were defeated in the hidden caves. We thank you, Lord, that there is no defeat in Christ. When we do things your way, we will always get the results you intend for our lives. So we thank you, Lord, for that in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. We're going to go back into worship.